everyone, my name is Katasha and welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. Let's continue where we are. Why are we... There we go. Note to self, that's how we open the game from now on. What are we doing? Uh... That's new. Because that's where we're going. Okay, looks like the dude we need to talk to isn't here. I'm assuming. Pardon me. We miss you? Are you Labino? Oh, no. Fancy you mistaking me for him. No. Im. I am the deputy custodian. But Labino does work here. What? I would then go so far as to call it the is studied oh. here most days, but as you can see for yourself, not today. Well then. Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me for one. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park the... No, no, no. The <laughs> I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is, I am no scholar. Not like Monsieur Lobino. Okay. Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. Not a sausage? Do you recognize the man in this <laughs> photograph? No, monsieur. Is there any reason why I should? I guess not. We're going to go for everything. You recognize this do, red do, 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 do. nose? I don't think so. I hope to hell I can. What do you make of this tissue? Thing. It is absolutely disgusting, Monsieur. Would you like to shake my hand? Uh, not while I'm on duty, Monsieur. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? Oh no, I don't frequent places like that. Okay. Do you recognize this ID pass? No. Oh, Thanks you're boring. Thanks for your help lack thereof. In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. Ooh. It was identical to the tripod pictured on the manuscript. Oh. A notice identified it as 15th century from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marne at the site of a Knights Templar preceptory. Ireland? What's that? This tripod was found in Ireland. I will have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. Okay. Well, we have a place, I guess. I don't know. Leave it alone. That closet is over 3,000 years old. Closet? It's a sarcophagus. Okay. Watch out! You'll have that done on top of us! Attention! Please do not open the window, monsieur. Don't you think it's kind of stuffy in here? It's Get museum. Stuffy, then dead. What's the problem? Fumes from car exhausts? Not just that, monsieur. There's a new bag of bar opened up across the street. The Laughing Buffalo. So what's the problem? They cook their burgers on a charcoal grill. And the fat falls on the open flames. The amount of organic compound and smoke particles released is astounding. Since they huh. opened, local air pollution has doubled. And it stinks like a funeral pile. That is why I keep the windows closed. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Don't even think of climbing in there, monsieur. You'll be suffocated. I always wondered how it felt to be a mummy. Um. Wow. 
Why did my music change? That's weird. Rougerie. Yes, yeah, Nika's apartment. Hi. I've been to the Croon Museum. Did you speak to Labino? No, he wasn't there. <laughs> no, he wasn't there. Well, that's very abrupt. I found the tripod. Where? In the museum. It belonged to the Templars. It was dug up in Ireland at a place called Loch Marn. I have heard of Loch Marn. I read an article about the castle. Take a look for yourself. A popular gossip magazine? You read that rubbish? No, I write it. Oof. Professor Nigel Pegram excavating the medieval castle at Loch Marn. That's strange. What? He resigned his chair at Durham University in order to devote his time to the excavation. Not only that, but he cancelled the filming of a fourth series of his popular television program. This site at Loch Marn must be awful important to him. He's a professor of history, they're all cuckoo. All the same, I'd like to talk to this Professor Pegram. How do you feel about a trip to Ireland? Disappointed. Huh? That I won't be going. I want to follow up the Belotta case. If you really think Pegram's dam is important, why don't you visit Loch Marn? On my own? I'm not so sure about that. Where is Ireland exactly? Have you found out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? I don't know, but I can't imagine it was coincidence. No, probably not. Okay. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. It's gonna kick me outside. So... Elopot, I guess we're going to Lokman. Okay, I wasn't expecting I us to go. I passed the castle on the way into Lokman, the castle where Pegram's excavation was located. Oh, we're here. I tugged at the trap door but it was locked from the inside. Look, I'm finding clickies. We're gonna do clickies. I tugged at the plastic cover, but it didn't move. And now we talk to the weird looking kid. Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling kid? Who the hell are you? Rosso's okay. the name, murder's my game. Are you a detective? Let's just say I'm here to find the truth. Cool. Just like on the telly. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run. From me dad. Why? <sighs> Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks. Every last penny. Down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy her medicine. Chop firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skinflint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood, when suddenly me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared uh -huh. to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for altar boy of the year. <laughs> what can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only, what do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something about what the, the fuck? castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Did we just have is a, something you're a glitch? Of? I ain't scared of nothing. No, I'll uh, give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called... The Phantom Alochman. 
of ghosts. You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worst. Uh... It was coming from inside the castle. Okay. Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows that could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but me legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on me ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing an horrible laughter in the dark. I was Creepy. so scared. Why, I fell off the bloody wall. I'm <laughs> sure the there's a rational wall. explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. <laughs> Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marn, they all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus, it's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff, only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God. That doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. Oh no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. Do you know a man <laughs> called Pegram? Sure, dude. describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't, because he's not here now. But if I sees him, I'll ask him. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels of course. I mean, who else goes there? And skeletons, like in the films. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you if ever I'm seen this man before? This. It's a what funny. a slimy character. No, I never seen him. I love the music. Have you ever seen anyone wearing one of these? Sure. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That belongs to the killer clown you're looking for. That's yes. right. Can I have it? Sorry. No. I'm keeping this as evidence. You should have told the cops. I did. They weren't interested. You should run tests on that, mister. You could identify the murderer with a sample of his snot. Yuck. I don't think so. <laughs> I what want to zap somebody! To <laughs> Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. I just want to shake your hand, that's all. No way. <laughs> do you recognize this matchbook, McGuire? No, sir. I never seen it before in my life. Ever heard of Thomas Merlin? Or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? No. Sorry if you see that see I'm you later, jittering kid. Okay, around. mister. It is cold. Well then. I see a thing to pick up, I pick it up. It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. Okay, we've got a lot of people to talk to. Let's talk to Shifty Doodad. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. Least. What can you tell me about the castle? There's nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Try put my slippers Have on. you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. 
Do you know Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. I'm on tablets of my nerves. More than a pint and I'll pass out. Well, then. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I'm sure I don't know him. Through all things again. Through all things to you? again. Blood. Why is that? I used to bleed a lot when I was a kid. Every time there was a playground scrap, I'd end up with a bloody nose. I wouldn't have minded, but I wasn't even involved in the scraps. A paw. What does this tissue suggest to you? Nothing. Shake Sammy. my hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn it, you're right. I can't seem to fool anyone. Ever seen this towel before? Doesn't it belong on the bar? Very observant, Fitzgerald. I forgot does I had that. Book mean anything to you? And I just picked no. it up. Check out this pass. Thomas Merlin? No, never heard of him. Okay. See you later. Let's talk to Sneezy. Hi there, old timer. What? <laughs> Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What it's, did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner, pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? <laughs> Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police. No. I'd know it if you were. Okay, let's... Can you tell me how to get into okay. the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Loch Barn Castle is haunted. That's what On the your... kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's well, no then. one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch Mar? That'll be the day. <laughs> no. That was a ghost, to be sure. Shh. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmar. Oh! Uh, Do you know sneezing Pete without the, the archaeologist? animation. That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No, I don't know him. What What's that you're making? It's a necklace, me bucko. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. When my little lover feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. And we go through the Do you the recognize the man in this photograph? I can't tell without my glasses. What does this red nose mean to you? Nothing. You can make use of this tissue. Never use them. Those things are unhygienic. This is unhygienic hey, as it is. Hey, would you like to shake my... Uh, no, on second thought, forget it. Aww. Could you use this towel? I could, but it wouldn't be much use for anything else. He keeps checking his watch. What does this matchbook mean to you? Nothing. Go away and stop bothering me. Last thing. Take a look at this ID card. I don't know anything about it. I'll see okay. you later.
As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed his piece of wire. Uh, that was very good timing. Let's uh, talk to the barkeep. Top of the morning to you. I <laughs> beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? Do you want something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? Well, I, I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is it a room you're after? No, thank you. I don't plan to stay too long. Who does? Most folk take one look at Loch Martin and jump back on the bus. Have you Clown. served any, uh, clowns recently? No. You're the first today. Squishy, squishy. Do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. Are you a friend of his, by any chance? Oh, no. I'm just trying to track him down. Me too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. Did Pegram I'm sorry, stay here? What? Yes, he did. Six nights plus breakfast. Okay, before we do, do the you bar, recognize uh, this man? No, me. I don't. But what do you want with him? I've got a score to settle. I don't want any trouble in the bar, Mister. If it's a fight you're looking for, see Father Mahoney. A priest? A man of the cloth? Sure. And he teaches the boys how to box at the youth club. According to Mahoney, it develops character. Isn't that right, Pat? Didn't he teach you all the art of pugilism? Doyle. Sorry, Michael. I was miles away. What did you say? Ah, uh, never mind. Well, Does then. this false nose mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Does this tissue mean anything to you? That's disgusting. Uh -huh. That's a little I found it in the sewers. Well, what's the idea of waving it around in my face? You're worse than old Ron. Put it away, man. Hey, bartender? A landlord, if you don't mind. Sorry. Uh, shake my hand, why don't you? Now, why should I do that? What have you got up your sleeve? Nothing. Come on, just shake my hand. Oh, not just now, mister. I have to be careful on account of the health restrictions. Oh, jeez. Health restrictions? May I borrow this towel? Sure you can. On one condition. What's that? You keep it away from old Ron. Who's Ron? That's him in the corner. With the hygiene problem. Oh. Do you recognize this matchbook? No, sir. Hey, Kay's checking his fucking watch. Do you watch. recognize the name on this card? <gasps> no. Should I? Nah, it was a long shot. Does this piece of wire mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Is this your first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's brewed from natural ingredients to traditional methods. It shouldn't be okay. kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and worn with bits and, and it makes you fall asleep. Okay. Look, I gotta be going. Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? Do you know Professor Pegram? Just information, do I, I guess. Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? No, I don't. I mean, I know who he is, but I don't know him to Do okay. you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? It's the science of archaeology, Pop. I am so Understand sorry for you, Understand how people used to live by what they've left behind. One day, archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food cartons and flavored condoms, more likely. <sighs> Did anyone from the village work for people's <laughs> day? Well, then. I tried it myself. But that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What a nerve. Couldn't I dug more holes than the rest of them put together? Hey, she Do you dude. remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Hmm. Let me see now. I think me brain box needs a spot of lubrication. 
Can you tell me anything about the castle? Okay, the before we do oh, the alcohol. I don't know much about anything. You should ask Mr. O'Brien here. He doesn't join up writing. Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? That's sure. right. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic University. You're an archaeologist, and you're asking us about the castle. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. The gentleman was talking to me. How come you didn't leave with the others? I didn't know they'd gone. Oh, yes. Packed their spades and shovels, and away they went. Seems I missed all the excitement. What excitement? Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? Has he conned you into buying for him? Shame on you, Patrick. Same again. Just a point this time, Michael. One point of brown coming up. That's a little funny. Do you remember Sean Fitzgerald now? I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. Come to think of it, it was only last week. Fitzgerald was there all right. Him and a bunch of students. He was speaking students. with the boss man. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? It's a handsome mug on that fella, to be sure. Is he a film star? And what does this false shit? nose mean to you? Ah, uh, no, you're a clown. Does this tissue that mean anything to you? That was a different reaction than I was no, expecting. Boss. May I shake your hand? No, you can't. Well, how come? Because I'll spill me beer if you do. Fair point. What do you think of this towel? No, there's a fine piece of cloth if ever I did see one. Such craft must surely come from linen cupboards of the Vatican itself. No, can't Do you recognize this matchbook? No. Does this security pass mean anything to you? Uh. No. Mm, well. No. That was a long time to answer. Does this guy. piece of wire mean anything to you? Not me, Mister. Okay. Bye for now. Done with you. Dead in the corner. Hello there. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Hey, my brain. Uh, can I help you? Do you know Sean Fitzgerald? <laughs> yes, I do. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about working at the dig. I can't imagine anyone implying Sean Fitzgerald on a dig. He wouldn't know a post hole from his elbow. I'm cold. Why am I cold? I'm out of Have you something. heard of the Phantom? More than that. I've seen it. And let me tell you, it's a dreadful spectre. So it's not just a local legend. There really is a Phantom of Lochmar. Oh, no. I was talking about the Phantom of the Opera. I mean, look. Have you ever wrong? heard of the Knights Templar? I most certainly have. A remarkable institution. Did you know? They were the originators of our system of credit. Their financial empire stretched from the Atlantic to the Caspian Sea. With bases in so many countries, they had to establish new methods of fiscal transfer. So, the Knights Templar were nothing but a bunch of bankers. I, don't I mean... Get are you saying these Templar guys invented bank charges? In a matter of speaking, I suppose they did. What a dirty trick. Didn't anyone try to stop them? Oh, yes. They were arrested, and many were burned at the stake. Good. They bloody well deserved it if they were anything like my bank manager. Ugh, Jesus. What can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Are the ruins open to the public? Oh, no, it's much too dangerous. Yeah, anyway, dangerous. there's nothing of interest remaining. <laughs> I guess we keep How talking. How can I get into the castle? Well, those walls were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mr. Stobart. But I dare uh -huh. say you'll find a way, if you've the will. Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Hey, oh, this is a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? Professor Pegram. The same man who dug oh. up the gem. Gem? Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. I saw a point with our esteemed host, I might add. Do you know where Pegram has gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. He hoped anchor in the dark and shipped out before the dark. Why did he do that? Who knows? I 
guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Lakmar. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to now. What can there you tell go. me about the gem? I was like, I'm curious about the gem. Now there's a gem which should never have been taken. The man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? Oh, yes, yes, that's right. And not a bloody news hound. Well, you're wasting your time here, boy. You find the people of Lakman are a tight-lipped and cautious no. lot. Why? No. Have you got something to hide? No. It's just that we don't like to wash our dirty laundry in public. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? Huh. Well, why don't you ask him yourself, Mr. Ace Reporter? I think I might have. Do you recognize that the up? man in this photograph? Nope. I've never seen him before. Does this red nose suggest anything to you? No, it doesn't. What do you make of this tissue? I guess that muck on it is grease paint. I'd like to shake you by the hand, Mr. O'Brien. Oh, no, you don't. Does this I towel don't want mean to, know. to you? I don't sure. want to know. It's one of Leary's towels. Are you planning on stealing it? Just borrowing it, if you must know. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? The design is Middle Eastern, I'd say. What can you tell me about this ID pass? Groove Electronics. No. I've never heard of it. No. Uh. What do you make of this piece of wire? It looks ordinary enough to me. Goodbye for now. Uh, good riddance to you. So apparently I've got to talk to him again? Excuse me. A yes, sir? No. Look, I got... Let's talk to him then. I got to talk to Violin, dude. Mr. Fitzgerald? Doyle told me you definitely worked at the dig. He's seen you there. You might as well admit it. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd get caught. I need to caught. talk to Professor Pegram, if he's still alive. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah. You too, if I'm right. You're I'm not in the social what? security. Hell no. What makes you think that? Well, uh, I was claiming benefit at the same time I was working for Pegram. I'm not in a position to make judgments, Sean. That's between you and your conscience. All I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. But he's not here! I know that. But he left that package with you, didn't he? So where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. Okay. He to give this package to a guy called Marque. Show me what's in the package, Sean. I can't do that. Why not? I promised the professor. So what? You didn't have any qualms about your benefit scam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside Pegram's package? You don't know these people. I can't. I don't dare. This I'm is your last confused. chance to show me the package. What is Cheryl. going on now? I've been patient with you, but now it's time to kick ass. But he'll kill me. Who will? I'm from Paris. Jack Marquet. Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double-cross Marquet, I'd be dead. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. I was first, we got Give the face package to, the to me. No. Why should I trust you? I don't know who to trust anymore. I wish I'd never even heard of the Lockmarn gem. here, Maguire. Come back when you're old enough. What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Get out! What? Noisy little tyke. Maybe you should send out some medicinal brandy maker. Oh, yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too, neither. I was telling the truth about Fitzy, mister. Okay, okay, calm down. Now tell me what happened. What does... I was standing here, minding me own business, when I saw this beautiful red sports car coming up over the hill. Would you look at that, says I. And I going over to take a closer look. Next thing, Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass. 
with the car just flies at him. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy, and ate him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out, and I couldn't believe my eyes. He was dressed like a bloody pixie. The, the pixie! He's in his pixie! Hey, Maguire. What? Did this pixie have a scar on his cheek? I couldn't see. He was wearing a stupid mask. Are you a special agent? Sorry to disappoint you, kid, but I'm not. Did Fitzgerald drop anything when he was hit? I didn't see. It all happened so fast. Maybe the package fell somewhere out of sight. Oh my god. What do you think this wire could be used for? Stealing cars. There's only one problem. The local policeman? No. Nobody in Loch Marne has got a car. That's intriguing. What do you make of this, kid? Hey, that's one of Leary's towels. He'll skin you alive. Hey, that so old windbag doesn't scare me. Anyhow, I'm only borrowing it. You're pretty cool, mister. For an old guy. Well, thank you. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. I just saw this was been on... Um, whacked open. I pushed the switch down, but in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. Okay. You're the only dude I haven't talked to. Oh, there's a thing on the table. He wasn't listening. Okay, well now we're Excuse to... me. Uh, yes, sir. Check out my car. I've seen it for heaven's sake. Look, I gotta be going. Give me a second to try and think of something. Oh. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you speak English? Well, no. Uh, what if I was to say no? An implication of cognizance shrouded in denial. A pretty poser of a paradox indeed. I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was 12 and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. It was a killer. Are you attempting to hypnotize me or is it the constipation you're suffering? I was a little out of practice. What can you right. tell me about the castle? Not much, I'm sorry to say. Most of its history is long forgotten. Ah, but if these old stones could only speak, what stories they'd tell. Stories to make your toes curl and your blood run cold. You know, this castle is said to be over 600 years old. Nice. Have you seen Professor Pegram? No, he's packed up and gone. Do you happen to know where? Back in England, I suppose. Did you happen sports to car. see a red sports car down on the road? I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? How would car? you know it was a Ferrari? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. The driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. How Is did that you know so? it was a Ferrari? Yeah. He knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car? I mean, the car was traveling too fast. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. Maybe you Fuck know sake. the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. <laughs> His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew, the idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. 
I yeah. think you ought to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right. But what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. What a moral dilemma. Stay here and guard this potentially... Idiot might climb the haystack. Or to go off in search of the prodigal hmm. nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. It would need some thinking about. Why, there's no problem. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. He strode off in the direction of McDevitt's bar, leaving me to contemplate the stack of hay. The stack of hay stopped, short of the top of the wall. Even if I stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. No way. I inserted the end of the liquid... Oh, by the way, how did he get that in the plane? ...and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. Let's go. The rope by which the goat was, was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. <laughs> that noise. Ooh, ooh. Such weird noises. Suck it, Gertie. Oh. Oh, wow. The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. Okay. As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. Okay, intriguing. What's on the wall? I clicked that, by the way. I placed my fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. Clicky. I tried in vain to move the panel. Okay, okay, I picked this up apparently. As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Plaster of Paris. I'd used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. Oh, 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 oh. No, wait, hang on. Um I reached into the Okay. Oh, I I had idea. Me. I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. Uh... I squeezed the towel as hard as I could, but it was barely damp. I smoothed the plaster level with the sand. It was my first experience of home improvement. I smoothed the I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, 
of course there's no way to get in for the gate. Yeah, it's got a big hunk and lock on it. Pushing with all my strength got me nowhere. Yes, put budge. your hand on the door. I really need to start working out. You just put your hand on the blast. That's not how you open it, just by going Bleh. Okay. Can I go anywhere else on the street? Or is it just... Well, that... No, that is it. I... I'm a little confused. And we're gonna leave my confusion there. Cause I need to go do some other stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you're enjoying this game as much as I am. Tell me what think about it in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I shall see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye!